Okay, so good afternoon and welcome to week three of our Flip Learning Open course. I hope everyone's having a good time. There's some great comments coming in on people's posts as well as Twitter comments and comments on our course uh, blog. So week three, this means we're on intentional content where week one was, was a flexible environment, week two was learning culture. Remember the schedules here under units, I should probably call that schedule, but units schedule is the overall schedule of the course. Introduction was that basically video and information about the course before we started. Unit zero was the setup, and then we went through unit one, unit two, and unit three, the first three pillars of the flipped classroom. Right. Um, so let's take a look at, at this week's. Notice this front page has changed around a bit. I'm showing you recent posts on the right that are coming in from people, random posts, so perhaps you'll just find something new you didn't see from a previous week. And then I'm also highlighting recent comments uh, recent post to our open flip hashtag on the uh, Twitter verse and tag cloud so remember when you're making a post add tags to your content and we'll pick those up as things come in you can either add them as official tags within a blogging platform or just put a hashtag in front of any word and it becomes a uh, keyword so let's jump on over to unit 3 for this week All right. All right, so this I'm trying to keep this a consistent layout so it's less confusing than Ken's able to usually make things. Oh, sorry, I use this other keyboard instead of the mouse. It's going too fast. So again, this is the third pillar of, of, of flipping, internet, intentional content, exactly like it's come from fliplearning.org. And uh, I want you to reflect on these three points of prioritizing concepts, creating and curating content for students, and differentiating content. I gave you a, th a few resources to, to jump on there. Actually, I should make those link, actually. Sorry, you'll have to copy paste them now. I'll, I'll make them hyperlinks here after I finish this recording. Didn't realize that didn't jump in. Submission again, make your blog post on your own blog. Um, the ones that are already active, I've already got a, uh, a record of your blog coming into our course site, so you're being visible on our course. Post a por short video as well on YouTube or some other location where you can share that public URL or, or even include it as a embedded, uh, uh, embedded video on your blog post. Also remember when you do make your blog post, try to put some kind of relevant image and, and of course give credit for where that image came from on your blog post because then that, that shows up here like in this post and that post and that post. We can see that there's a, an image tied to it and it's a, it stands out a little bit more than this one which is uh, about just publishing my video so I, I think I encourage you to put some relevant pictures on your post and if possible in WordPress you can tag those as the featured image uh, so do your post of your video do your post of your essay discuss here remember at the bottom of this unit there's a place to leave comments there's no comments there yet because we just started this week but if you go back to last week's session and the week before and the week before there are comments and it's getting pretty active there um, back and forth from people in the course uh, trading ideas and, and congratulating each other on, on their posts. So that's a good thing to go into. This week's activities, I posted the, the activities for this week. I'm recording the video now. Wednesday evening, we'll go back to Wednesday, the normal. Uh, we'll do a office hours with me at 3 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. Wednesday, uh, sorry, that's Wednesday afternoon. Uh, local time Guadalajara for all these times, of course which is uh, central in the US if, if you're translating from US time zones. Uh, that's this week because they're going to switch to daylight savings time so we're not going to, it's going to be confusing. Wednesday evening, 8 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Guadalajara time, we'll do a hangout and uh, we'll talk to some either and either or uh, experts in flip learning that we have contacts through through the flip class and, and, and our network of people um, in the flipped learning community as well as I really invite people to come and join us jump in online we had uh, we had some people last week we had Sandra the week before um, Yvonne it was last week and uh, Andrea oh, I'm stuck in your name right now but sorry <laughs> we had a couple of people last week and I think it really makes it interesting to have a mix of people that are like veterans in flipping mixed in with people that are just getting started so if you want to join us, let me know and we'll jump you into the uh, Google Hangout. I'll program these, schedule them, and put the links in here today as well. So that'll be on Wednesday evening. Thursday afternoon, 
same as before, uh, 115 to 145 more or less. We'll do this afternoon hangout session. We'll see who we get for this week. Again, you're invited, people in the course or anyone who's interested in joining, just let me know and, and I'll dial you in. And then Friday afternoon, we'll do again the wrap up uh, 8.30 a.m. to 9 a.m. office hours. Again, the office hours as well as the uh, fireside chat type sessions or discussion with experts is um, open to anyone. If you want to jump in, let me know. Get online and we'll get you hooked into the Google Hangouts. I actually recorded a demo of how to use Hangouts for our faculty here uh, on campus Guadalajara of the Tech de Monterrey. We did a, a quick demo of how to use Google Hangouts in your classroom and for your courses. That went pretty well. People were excited about it. And it's really easy to use and really easy to dial in once, once you know how to use it. Actually, there's a few tricks. Uh, so definitely join me there. Last Friday I did a quick uh, demo on how to use Twitter and if there's any requests of how what you would like me to demo or give you an idea of how to use some kind of tool. Uh, the course is not about these tools but I'm happy to, to help you with these tools because I think the tools are just that. They're tools to help us in what is our practice every day inside our classrooms and outside our classrooms. So there's that and I think that's about it. Uh, there's a few things I'm going to mess around with on the site. I need to, um, I'm, I'm finding that there's double posts on some of these things. So my system of bringing in feeds from your posts seems to be flaking out a bit and bringing in double posts. I'm going to go and fix that today. So I might uh, export all of the feeds from you and then wipe the system of, of backup feeds and then repopulate it. So we'll see how that goes. If you're just joining us and you haven't got active, remember you're still f welcome to come in anytime. You can jump in late or just see what we're doing. I'll most likely run this pretty well continuously. When this one wraps up, I'll take a week or two break and then we'll, we'll spin it right back up again. And uh, we'll see how that goes as we're moving along. That's about all I have to say for today. So definitely jump in, get active, promote your content. So if you write some content on your blog and you make a video, promote it through Twitter, promote it through comments on, on this week's unit page and promote it through going and, and commenting on other people's blog posts. So please be active and uh, have fun this week. Thanks.